The next tool in the pre-designed tools list is uh, VTL load calculation. Whenever the customer do not provide the ultimate loads, we have to calculate these ultimate loads with the help of given wire properties, wire tensions, wire load case detail. Generally, it is very much time consuming to find out the loads with the hand calculation. To reduce the time, uh, we need to use this tool. So let's see, here is the tool window. VTL load calculation. Let's just start with an example. Number of wires is 2. Number of load cases, let's say 3 at the shield wire position. Now we will have to enter for the wire 1, the wire name like AC SR. It suggests you the related wire names. If you press the tab, will give you the bare diameter, bare weight and the wire name. Now come to the wire bundle say 1 wind is spin let's say 850 weight is spin let's say 850 uh, okay the wire orientation let's say minus 62 and the same way for the second wire we will again enter here the name let's say it's ACSR2 press the tab you will get the bare diameter and the bare weight now again enter the wire bundle 1 the wind is spin for the second wire let's say 565 the weight is spin is again 565 the orientation is let's say 90 now here is the load case detail so load case name let's say it's first wire uh, first load case name is NESC heavy okay so here is the detail for the load case like wind pressure in the first load case let's say 4 radial ice 0.5 and the insulator weight remains 0 vertical OLF for the NESC heavy say 1.5 the transverse wind OLF is 2.5 2.5 and the tension OLF is 1.65 let's say the wire tension for the first wire is 2110 the wire tension for the second wire is say 3000 the now this is the ultimate vertical load and ultimate transverse load and ultimate longitudinal load as we click on this it will give you the ultimate vertical load value in caps like 0.894 caps here is the 2.389 caps transverse load and this is the longitudinal load 1.875 this is a wind PSF 10 and resultant angle is 38.2 the same way We'll do for load case number two. Let's say it's high wind. The wind pressure in this let's say it's twenty. Radial is zero. Insulator weight zero. Vertical OLF let's say one point one. One point one for the transverse window OLF. Tension OLF one point one. And wire tension, we suppose it's 4110 for the first wire and for the second wire it is uh, again 3000. Okay, the vertical load is 2.243 kips, transverse lo load is 2.567 kips, the longitudinal is minus 0.692 kips. Wind PSF is 22 and resultant angle is 0. So we will repeat the procedure for each load case. So here we get the result as a vertical load, ultimate transverse load, ultimate longitudinal load, wind PSF and resultant angle. Now you can print report for this which can be used by any engineer to enter these values in PLS LCA file. 100% okay this is the VTL wire detail wire bundle bare weight 
for the ACSR1 and ACSR2 the same all the details are given here and load case details are given here these are the tensions used to calculate um, ultimate load come to the second page of report so this is your final loads 0.894 for the NESC heavy 2.385 kips uh, transverse load for the NESC heavy load case 1.875 kips for the longitudinal load and wind PSF 10 and the angle is 38.2 Thank you very much. It will save the time of engineering.